welcome back to our channel we're back with another weekly favorite sorry that we had no videos last week yeah it pains <laughs> us to do that we don't really want to like sit here and give you a bunch of excuses you guys know we're busy mm -hmm. um but we but actually also, our best friend got married yes our best friend got married so we were in nashville and you guys were the best for those of you that commented on the murphy bag situation yeah but Britta was not 100 percent oh, honest i was honest tell okay. them it fit okay so we were this is just an anomaly because we were in the very last row of the airplane so I always like to sit on the aisle and the like spot under the aisle was smaller than the other seats. So it fit under Carly's seat in the middle, but it didn't, well it did fit under it. It was just really tight. I had to like It really like push didn't it. fit all the way under though. They just didn't notice, but it was like out from the seat. Yeah, but it fit perfectly fine under a middle seat or a window seat. And on the way back, I sat in the middle and it fit just fine but it was just I thought it was so funny that I posted it and we got so many responses from people being but like, I was dying. like you're not being honest it didn't I was honest it fit. fit under a seat it fit under a seat but not every seat well I sat I sat on the aisle seat and it still fit just not a perfect fit like the middle seat yeah but, so if you sit in an aisle it'll still work seemingly <laughs> but we can get into it um, first up this week, Kathleen Lights launched Lights Lacquer. Um, you guys know I used to work for Kathleen, and I always like supporting her. Um, this is the new collection. It's really it's, cute. The PR package is really cute. I know, cute. it's like this soft touch. The, the branding's really cute. This is like a, what even color? So it's like a it's blush a pink. very pale pink. Very pale pink. Not too white at all. It's really beautiful. Um, and then it has the soft touch little card in here. This photo of Kathleen is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. really um, and these are the shades. Rosie, Girl Power 11, Heffa, Woman, and HBI. You should hold it in the middle just in case they can't see. Okay, yeah, I'll hold it here just so you guys can see. I would say my favorites are Heffa and Rosie. Me too. Um, when we were, like, I was still on her team when she was developing these. And this is, like, my ideal nude yeah i want to paint my nails that i today. know i'm gonna paint my nails with it today too because it's a cool tone nude and then it has like a metallic like a slight metallic finish i don't know it's really unique really beautiful because i would always wear a point zero or i like taurus too like those are my kind of nude polishes so this is right up my alley and this green is yeah, just it's so, so beautiful cool. it's so unique it's definitely like looking at them i just gravitate towards that i'm sure everyone else me too i also really love this blue mm -hmm. um definitely a favorite but really proud of her i feel like this pr package and the branding is super cute like the website is really easy to yeah. use um so i wish her all the best and can't wait to see what other shades she comes out with okay next up is a little snack favorite these are the Lint Snickerdoodle Truffles. They're obviously seasonal for Christmas. And they always have the peppermint ones too, right? Do we not yeah, have but those are No, but those are like the constant. These are yeah, new. Yeah, these are new. And, okay, my only gripe is that I love cinnamon so much that I wish they were a bit more cinnamon flavored. But regardless, they're, they're like, so good though. There's like little, little Snickerdoodle pieces in the outside shell. So you get like an extra like texture too, yeah. like crunch. But um, they're majority white chocolate. So if you don't like white chocolate, you wouldn't like these. But if you love Snickerdoodle and white chocolate, definitely such a fun, like, holiday treat. Yeah, we're the type to, like, fill little candy dishes throughout our house mm -hmm. with... We don't even have people over. It's just for no, us. No, for us. <laughs> um, and so these are perfect for a candy mm -hmm. dish because they're individually wrapped. And just when you're in need of something sweet, they're and really easy. they are so good. They're so we delicious. We haven't put these ones in a dish, though, right? Because you were like, I don't want to put them in a candy corn dish. Yeah, I didn't. We're actually... Today, we're going to put some of our fall stuff away. Mm -hmm all of our fall stuff away and put some Christmas things out. I'm just saying like how embarrassing because if you guys can tell like we're already down to here and we haven't even put them in a dish. Whatever. I, I just got those like three days ago. Mm -hmm. Okay uh, next up is something I got during the Sephora VIB sale. I purchased the Charlotte Tilbury what is this called? Something corrector. Oh it doesn't even say on here? Okay. okay, well, it's her corrector, essentially. I got the shade Medium. This was the Leanne Says recommendation. Um, she uses color that correctors, and I love them as well. Um, we've been using the Tarte CC corrector, mm -hmm. which I really enjoy. The formula is beautiful. My only gripe with that is the shade. I just never thought it was peachy enough. Like, I could wear it on bare mm -hmm. skin just to cover up dark circles. So, obviously, it's not peachy enough if you can, it blends in with my mm -hmm. skin tone, you know. Um, so, Leanne says recommended the shade Medium, and she has pretty fair skin like we do. So, I went with Medium. 
And this is such a good corrector. It truly just cancels out the dark circles. And it's such a unique formula. It dries down to almost like a demi matte finish. And that sounds really awful underneath the eyes. But I like it because my concealer lays really well on top of it. I feel like with the Tarte one, it is so emollient. And it makes my under eyes hydrated and not dry. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when you're blending concealer over top of it, it kind of blends together. It doesn't sit on top. Whereas I feel like since this kind of dries down matte, my concealer blends out on top of it really beautifully. And the fill weight on here is a little bit more than the Tarte one. So they kind of end up being about the same price. Um, and I got it during the sale, so I got a deal on it because I know it's pricey. And I also told Carly, I didn't realize Charlotte's packaging was plastic. Mm -hmm. I was expecting this to be metal. Um, I thought that would have been a nice I'm touch. not even positive if it's an aluminum spray. I think it might just be a metallic spray. It is. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. This isn't, no, this isn't metalized. Yeah. Um, but I think the inside is, no? No. Oh, yeah. So that was kind of disappointing. I know it's a small detail, but when you're spending 30 plus dollars on something so small. <laughs> well, her blushes are like that too, because when I bought a blush, yeah. I thought it was always like heavy duty packaging, and it's not. But it's designed really beautifully. It's designed beautifully. The product's amazing. And that's all that really matters. Mm -hmm. But I just want to let you guys know because if you were like me and thought this would be nice and weighted, it's not. Um, but it's it's cute and I love the product. It works really well. Okay, next up is like a tech favorite. Um, Disney Plus. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. We were anxious to get it on the day it launched, which was, it was last week. You were really anxious. We were like, that's yeah. so Yeah, Britta was like, I don't know. And I'm like, are you kidding me? We're getting this. It's only $8, which I think is such a good deal. True. Especially now that all the other streaming services are so expensive. Not expensive, but they've gone up substantially in price. And it's just filled with goodies. Like, Lizzie McGuire, if you guys... But I will like say, it's more so if you're like a movie lover. Because they don't really have as many shows. Yeah, but I think that's a good point of difference. Because we have Hulu and we have Netflix for shows. It's like sure, something... I just want to let them know. Yeah, it's definitely movie heavy. But there is a ton of Marvel shows, I think, that are on it now. Or oh. they're starting soon. There's like four different Marvel shows. And one Star Wars show that looks really good. Um, And so... It's filled with that, but then, yeah, majority are, like, movies. But all the Star Wars movies, all the Marvel movies, well, most of the Marvel movies, um, all the Disney movies, which is phenomenal because there was yeah. never an easy way to watch all of the Disney movies. The like, most exciting for us, sorry, I cut you yeah. off. Um, we love, I forget the year this movie came out. It's oh. an old Haley Mills film, That Darn oh, Cat. Yeah. Yes. And we had it on DVD I don't know, if you guys have been here for a while, we've probably spoken about the great DVD disaster of like 2017, um, where we literally lost all of our DVDs, like including home videos in an entertainment center on the curb. Um, so we've since repurchased some because I'm a DVD person. I feel like if the internet connection's bad and you can't watch a movie, like it like keeps skipping and stopping, at least where we live. Sometimes yeah. the internet can be really poor. So I just like to have the option of a DVD. Um, and we used to have that movie and we hadn't watched it since that happened. I know. And then we saw it on Disney Plus and it's such a random movie because it's so old. I, we didn't even remember it was a Disney movie. I think all of hers were. Yeah, I mean, this is like, it's such a random favorite, but me and Britta loved this movie as children. <laughs> it's called That Dark Cat. And we don't even like cats. I want to say it came out in like 1968. And we don't even like cats. So let me, let yeah. me look it up. But it's the greatest movie and we were so excited and to Britta's point, one of my favorite things um, is how they sort the movies. They do it by year or by decade. Or and I yeah, think they starts, sort everything like the internet yeah, is really easy to Yeah, I think it started with like 1930. Like you can do it. You can sort through decade. And that's how I found it because I was looking oh, through really? every decade. 1965. 1965. Okay. I said 1968. I did a pretty good job then. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so I, we found like all these old classics that we love. There's like her, like... The original um, Herbie is in mm -hmm. there. Like, just really great classic Disney movies um, that we really love. We love old movies. And then, yeah, Lizzie McGuire. Just look. Because I feel I like... I watched That So Raven. Oh, my gosh. Oh I my forget God. how funny I watched show Sweet was. Life. So good. Yeah. I think that there's something for, like, everyone. Even if you don't think that you'll like it, just, like, give it a look. I think they do a trial. I think there's, like, a Probably. week trial. Um, just highly recommend. We're like, I'm like, wish we could watch TV right now because I want to watch We have a lot stuff. to do today. Yeah. Okay, this favorite, I am going to alert you now. This is going in a monthly favorites. So Bare Minerals sent us all of their holiday 
um, what were there? The holiday kits, which mm -hmm. we're so grateful. Like, you guys know how much we love them. So when this showed up, mm -hmm. we were having a really terrible week. Yeah. Uh, it <laughs> it, yeah. So it made things so much better. But we were trying some products from them, like their original Mineral Veil. I hadn't tried that in years. I think it's too matte for my skin now. Mm -hmm. um, but they're products like that we just haven't tried in years, probably like eight to ten years. Yeah. Um, and one of them being the Bare Minerals powder bronzer like the mineral bronzer so i think the one we used to use was warm it was and this mm -hmm. one is the shade faux tan which i believe is the more cooler tone and one. lighter warmth is darker yeah that's mm -hmm. true too this is kind of dark but you guys i so this could be a replacement for my beloved bare minerals invisible bronzer if you've been here for a little bit you know they're discontinuing that it's it's basically gone now in the shade medium, um, and but I loved it so much because it just blended on the skin. You could build it up. This I will say is less buildable. It's pretty intense. Maybe it's the brush I use because I use such a big fluffy mm -hmm. brush that it maybe it picks up a lot of product. But um, I was gonna say it's a loose powder. How is it intense? Yeah, and it's not the easiest to use with a big brush because you basically have to pour it in the cap and then I just put my brush in there and then tap it off but it literally blends out so effortlessly I can bronze my face so quickly it does give the skin a really nice sheen it looks like a faux tan I think the name is perfect it just looks like your skin is glowing and healthy and bronze it doesn't look I mean obviously I'm wearing bronzer it looks mm -hmm. like I'm wearing bronzer but it doesn't look patchy it doesn't look muddy it's so good and I can't believe I haven't used this in so long. I know. I think I have a small jar too. So yeah, they, they, just quite a few. Yeah, like things. there was a bunch of sample size products mm -hmm. in the advent calendar which we couldn't wait for December. We yes, had to we try opened them. it. Um, By the way, um, we're like heading out of this video but I just wanted to say like we're going to have some really good November favorites. Oh yeah. Like, we discovered a lot of good stuff. We did and as we're thinking about it, uh, I was talking to Harley about this yesterday. If you're interested, if you watch our Best of Beauty every year, mm -hmm. I kind of want to do a best of beauty for makeup and then a best of beauty for skincare, body hair. Um, I don't think we have enough for hair. Maybe we could fit hair in with the skincare, body yeah. hair. But because we discovered a lot of really good skincare mm -hmm. body products mm -hmm. this year. I've recently discovered something. Yeah. Like in the past we would do like one skincare item, which mine would hands down be the Crave Beauty um, Great Barrier Relief. Yeah, I, so I need to order a third bottle. I know, I'm almost out too. Um, but I don't really want to do that because like we already just told you and we have other skincare goodies that we love so much. So comment down below if you would be interested in seeing two separate videos or if you just want one really long mm -hmm. one, what your preference is. 